Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm Wes, nice to meet you. We're walking down the hallway to my studio in Brooklyn, New York. Where are you today? Hmm? Where are you? So here we are, unit 332. That's my door handle, a little owl sticker. Let's go in, come on. So here we got one of my favorite places in the world. Got motorcycles, artwork everywhere, things hanging and drying from the ceiling. Got all kinds of fun paintings. All these different collections of things that I like to put on the wall. Little nature things that I find on different walks, old paint brushes, artwork that's drying right now. Little plant family. I plant. Look at this. This is one of my favorite things. This is a wasp nest from out in the woods. And just all kinds of artwork, art supplies, all kinds of things on fabric that you can see back here. Um, I can even take my mask off now that I'm in here. So I wanted to introduce uh, an activity that we're gonna do together that's pretty fun. So if I can get this set up right here, this is my work table. And I wanted to tell you a little story um, that I started doing a couple years ago where every year uh, at New Year's, you know how people will do like New Year's resolutions, right? So instead of doing a New Year's resolution, I'll get out my notebook and I'll take my pencil and I will go and I'll write down this list of 10 things and I write it down every year and I'll go and sort of look back at the ones from the previous year to see how did I do, did it feel like me, um, what words and what language feels relevant to me now. So I'm actually gonna read you the words that I wrote at the start of 2020 having no idea how weird and strange this year would be. So these are my 10 words, these are my it's like a poem for me and I will go and I'll recite these in the shower sometimes or I'll say them under my breath when I'm on a walk. This is kind of like, these are the words that live in my heart, in my core. Be love, be courageous with your full self. We can read them together. Be real with your feelings, be active with mystery and magic, be expansive and fluid, be curious and playful, be prolific and intentional, be grateful and generous, be at home everywhere and be made new. So this is literally just in my journal. I'm letting you see my my true, true real self in here. And this project is kind of an invitation for you all to think about the words that make you who you are and then to actually go and put that on a piece of paper or on a banner. So I made an example here of one of them. Flipped around on self mode. So it says, be grateful. And I use paint with just a regular paintbrush on a piece of fabric. So the invitation for you is whether you're at your house or if you're in a classroom or maybe you're in a barn or on a boat or in a tree, I don't know where you are. You could be anywhere doing this project. Um, but I want you to take either a piece of fabric or a cool piece of paper that you might be able to find around your house. I really like to collect old pieces of paper and use them for artwork. So it can kind of be anything. So you get a piece of paper, and then I want you to go and write down some of those different words, like I shared out of my journal. So you might write, be patient, um, be magic, be vibrant, be daring. Um, your teacher or the adult will have a whole list of printed words that I actually sat down and I wrote out as part of the Where the Questions Live exhi ex exhibition. Words kind of hard to say, right? So. From that exhibition, I've got all these words that come in poems and things like that. So you'll have a printout that you can select a word from, and then you go and you sketch that onto your banner. And then with Be Grateful, I thought of it like all these different little points represent different things in my life that I'm grateful for. So this could be like, this is for my mom. This is for a safe place to sleep. This is for all the good food that I got to eat over Thanksgiving. This is that I'm really healthy right now. This is that my family is pretty healthy. Um, I feel really grateful that I have this place to make art. I feel really grateful that I have art supplies. Um, so I kind of illustrated the word. 
So say you were gonna choose be vibrant. You might have vibrant, have all of these crazy leaves coming off of it with different colors or things like that. I don't know, that's up to you. So you got your fabric or your paper, right? You got your paint brushes. You got your paint. You got your pencil. You got your words. Those are your materials, those are your ingredients. And I would encourage you to use just one word on this, but I would also encourage you to make a list like I did where I had my 10, to make a list of five or 10 and memorize them like a little poem. So that way, if you're hanging out like with your brother and your brother's being just a nuisance, you can go and like do this little thing on your breath. I'm like, okay, be patient. And you can be reminded for who you want to be, right? You can take that with you and nobody can take that away from you. All right, I'm at like six minutes right now hanging out in my studio so i'm gonna call it quits here for right now but coming to you from brooklyn new york to wherever you happen to be in a tree underwater riding a horse i don't know where you're at right now but wherever you are sending you love sending you creativity sending you language and poetry and i hope you have a really good art project and i want to encourage you to come to where the questions live at the Peabody Essex Museum because we're gonna open back up in January. Come hang out, come say hi, and then the exhibition runs through November of 2021. Celebrate it, okay? Get out there, go do great things, go say hello to a tree, go say hello to somebody that you love and tell them how much they mean to you. Bye, be creative, you're an artist.